Marty McFly. King of receipts. All right, okay. All right, okay. <laughs> Marty's in Brazil now. And for those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon. First 100 subscribers is $5, and it goes up from there. Just letting you know. So, my guys have been asking me, Marty, what have you been doing? I haven't heard from you. <laughs> Did you go broke? <laughs> No, not at all. What I've been doing is a lot of planning and a lot of investigative journalism, so to speak. <laughs> and a lot of connection making. I mean, and on the Patreon, we can talk more about that. And by connection making, I mean, I've assembled a kick-ass team. I've got a stylist, a driver, security, a makeup artist, and a person that sources uh, the girls outside of myself. So where does that bring us? That brings us to a nice undisclosed location in Brazil. And as you can see, there's very few people around. The water's see-through and it is hot. Let me tell you something. If you go out in a sun in Brazil, even if you're black, you do need some serious sunscreen. I'm just giving you the heads up. Yeah, so uh, today's model, her name is Anna. And the makeup artist sourced her for me. She's about two hours out from Rio de Janeiro. She's like kind of new. I think this might be her third or fourth shoot, which is fine. See, the thing about it is I'm able to work with experienced models as well as someone who's fairly new. The experience is the same. I can still get out of her what I need to get out of her. You know, that's part of being a professional. So, you know, since I've been in Brazil, you know, the network I've been building and it takes time to build. I'm just imagine you're going to a foreign country. You know, I'm still learning Portuguese. I'm not an expert yet. And I'm, I'm not studying as much as I should be because I'm, I'm too busy um, doing a lot of the business stuff out here and the connecting stuff. But, you know, I'm getting it little bit by little. But back on the subject. So the logistics of this can be quite daunting. For instance, the um, time that people show up to my place to do makeup in the morning the morning of the shoot is around like three o'clock in the morning and i know what you're saying oh why so early i'll tell you why because the way we want to do it it's so hot right we kind of want to catch the sun rising to get that lighting as the sun's coming up this is how early we're out there so three o'clock by four o'clock makeup is done the vehicle is packed we're already on the road at 4 a.m. Still dark outside. By the time we get to the beach, depending on where we're going, let's just say this one was about an hour, 45 minutes out from where I'm staying. So as we're unloading the vehicle and bringing all the equipment to the beach, the sun is just kind of peeking out. Now, the reason for doing this, obviously, as you can see, there's nobody on the beach. So you don't have like people in the background. And uh, this is not like a beach a ton of people go to anyway. So that's not too much of a problem. But still, you want it to be empty. So that's pro tip number one. Pro tip number two, I wanted to go to a beach that had very clear water. And as you can see in the background, crispy. <laughs> that's the only way Marty knows how to do it. Number three, you want to source a girl that's friendly, fit easy to work with and as you can see she takes very uh, very good directions um, and the thing is when you have a model who already kind of looks the part it kind of makes your job easier right you see me moving around act like I'm knowing what I'm doing <laughs> this nigga does no shit <laughs> all right let me stop okay um, so basically she we did about five outfits and the way I like to do my shoots, right? And I'm gonna go in more depth on Patreon, but I'm giving you like the brief overhaul of it. What I like to do is, I like to do the photos first, make sure I get the water, some shots. As you can see those mountains, I need her in front of those mountains. So, you know, that's why I'm adjusting the lights because I'm trying to go for a certain look, right? Oh, we're on the rocks right now. Okay, so same thing with that, I like to catch key integral parts you know so even i'm here for the first time i'm scouting the area i'm like okay those rocks look interesting 
let's see what we can create over there right and a little bit um and same thing with the mountains so okay i see this mountains in the back we got to get over there now with the rocks and you'll see coming up soon is there was like this formation i don't know how it got like this but it was like this five ton rock nestled between there you go right there it's like this ginormous five thousand ton rock positioned in a way where it's almost like a little cubby house i don't even know what you call it but it's like perfect it must have been here for like four million years so i you know me being the visual guy that i am i said that's where we got to shoot okay so we position the lights oh this is a big rock over here so this is like uh another monument so to speak had good lighting as you could see uh the video she's looking crispy as well and i just thought that was a good location to get specific shots and so on the patreon i'll talk about how the importance of networking and being professional and also why it might not be such a good look to do the the whole booty model thing in a foreign country right there's very um there's very social things that happen in brazil that don't happen necessarily the same way in other places so it's very like a unique setting you know in terms of sourcing models because how what i'll say is how you start is how you finish so you want to come in uh kind of like shooting respectable photography and video because it opens you up to a different tier of models in the future but hey that's all i got for now join the patreon and show support i got more coming I'm out.